Hi, my name is Helen Edwards. I'm the author of From Marginal to Mainstream. And this book is about growth. It's about where can businesses look to find long-term sustainable growth. So I think first up, we need to know what we mean by a marginal behaviour. So a marginal behaviour is a behaviour that people are choosing to do, but less than 3% of the population are currently doing it. So think naturism, polyamory, the quantified self, free birthing. Those are all marginal behaviours. So the thing about marginal behaviours is that some of them take off and become mainstream. So think about veganism, now a multi-million pound industry, or even the whole kind of wellness industry worth well over $100 billion. And some of them don't. So homeopathy has been around for about 200 years and never taken off. So what we need to know is which are going to take off and which aren't. And that was the whole premise for this book. What we did is we did some research, um, both qualitatively and quantitatively, to try to understand a bit more about which behaviours might take off and become mainstream and which ones wouldn't, and how you can read those behaviours better if you're a business looking for that long-term sustainable growth opportunity. Uh, and it's important because most businesses, when they're looking for growth, they either look for what we call kind of in incremental growth or growth from the core, and that's all good stuff, so a new flavour or a new packaging. But in the end, all that ever gives you is, m is small share gains against your competition. Then for more breakthrough growth, businesses and companies tend to look for supply-side innovation. So typically disruptive innovation from the Clay Christensen School of Innovation. What I'm talking about here in Marginal Behaviours is demand-side innovation. It's coming from consumers. You can call it consumer-driven disruption, if you like. And, and what's, it, what's powerful about that is that when consumers are choosing to live their lives a certain way and more of them want to do it and businesses are able to help them do that, then there are growth opportunities for those businesses who are right in there at the beginning rather than be one of the ones that's catching up. So think about the difference between Oatly, uh, who really led veganism into the mainstream, versus other kind of more mainstream companies who are just kind of catching to catch, scrambling to catch up.